Welcome back. We have seen Mongoose, how to connect uh, using Mongoose, MongoDB, how to connect MongoDB database with uh, using the Mongoose. We have seen how to create a schema for a detection. Now we will moving towards the third part that is the model. Model is actually a fancy constructor compiled for schema definition. An instance of a model is called a document. So alternatively, what we are doing, we are using this schema to create a model which will create an instance of a document into the collection. So we have schema here. We have uh, our collection and this is our model. Our model is taking the schema, taking the input from the user and on that basis it uh, uses an instance of a document to create a document within this collection. So this is the role of model. Models are responsible for creating and reading documents from the underlying MongoDB database. That means the user is not interacting with the database or our node application is not interacting with this database node application is interacting with this mongoose module our node application will call the mongoose function which will see the schema and the model and this model will you will call on the back end will call this mongodb collection to insert our document or search our document so alternatively, model is your central point. A mongoose model, when saved, created or uh, creates a document in MongoDB with the properties as defined by the schema it is derived from. We pass it into mongoose.model. So it has a function mongoose.model. In that mongoose.model, we have the model name and the schema with which we will create the model. And there is there can be a third parameter of collection if we don't provide the third parameter i will explain you how it will be created for example in this example we can see we are creating a model uh, with the name uh, author and the schema author schema which we have created in last slide and we are creating this model same we can define the schema and we can define the model which will be created and instance of this model will be this book or author we are going to create several objects and author model and several book models once created these objects will be persisted to mongodb using the save method of the model i will explain you the save method but this model is actually mapping to this schema with the database how it map to the database the first argument is a singular name of the collection. Alternatively, what you are saying is the author a cap with a capital. It will create a basically collection in your database with the name authors. A U T H E O R S. It will create. So the first argument in, uh, is the singular name of the collection. Your model is for Mongoose automatically looks for the plural version of the your model name. For example, the model tank is for the tanks. Now here you can see first thing the capital letter will be transformed into the lower letter and second it will be the plural form of the singular form. So this is your model name and this will be your collection name. This collection will automatically created at the back end. So whenever you will create a model and instance of the document it will automatically create a collection at the back end uh, or connect to the collect, uh, collection at the back end with plural form of this. That model function makes a copy of the schema. Make sure that you added everything you want to, uh, to be, uh, schema before calling dot model. So dot model will create the uh, collection with this schema. An instance of the model is called a document. So creating them and saving to the database is easy. Let's see how. This is an example. We have created a schema, whatever the schema, we are defining the tank uh, as a model. So it will create 
our database uh, collection with the name tanks with the lower and s as at the end so what we are doing we are creating an s class and with new we are taking an object of this tank and we are passing the value size is uh, colon small so we are passing the value into this model with the name small if we call small dot save it will actually save this information into the database into tanks schema uh, sorry tanks collection so it will insert a new document into the database with tanks oh, sorry the size small uh, into the tanks collection and we have a callback if there is an error it will print the error if uh, uh, there is no error it will alternatively save into the database we can use save and we can use the create also it has the same meaning no difference like in this case what we are doing we are creating a new model new with the word new and we are saving that model and in this case, we are using this variable tank.create and we are passing this value into it and calling the callback function. Both have the same uh, output, only the function is different. It is using the create function and it is using the create function. If you are saving in a bulk, you can use the insert menu. So insert, with the insert menu, you can pass a common separator documents and it will insert those documents into the database. As we have seen in the last, uh, last example in our last lecture. You can see here also team.create name production development and we are passing another uh, object. We are passing another object, an array of objects. We are passing three objects and after that passing these, these three ob objects, we are actually uh, adding these uh, objects into our uh, function so we will return one by one uh, we, uh, this create will work one by one while this uh, insert many will uh, automatically save every document in a batch mode <coughs> so we can print it accordingly now console.dir you can print these values Mongoose use create command to insert the documents one by one by one in loop internally. As we have a reference in employee schema about them, about team, so reference of object will be saved. Keep in mind this relationship will not contain referential integrity. Uh, we cannot define the referential as uh, I have uh, shown you in the schema part that we are passing the reference of one thing into another thing, but that pa uh, reference passing is just as a primary or foreign key uh, concept but it, it does not maintain the referential integrity so new code on the next slide will be now you can see we are creating a schema which will uh, which contains object ID, object, right, object ID, name with the first name last name and biography and uh, etc information and then what we are uh, doing we are using james uh, jamie author dot save we are saving this information into database so alternatively this information will be saved into the database same we can have a new book uh, which will be of uh, a, a, a book model and uh, you can save this information also so you can use different uh, models and you can save the information using those models this is another example a complete rather a complete example uh, this will uh, explain you many things like we are requiring mongoose as a first step this was our first step second step is our uh, url we are defining the url of our database and we are declaring mongoose destination is equal to db and we are declaring the, uh, the url then we are defining the schema of our application you can see uh, var team schema new mongoose.schema name of the offline string and it will be a required and then we are creating the model uh, here team is the model and it will create a collection with the name teams with t lower and s at the end and we are assigning the team schema to this team model now we have defined the model uh, our sorry our third step will be schema our fourth step will be 
model declaring model so we have created the four step the first step is uh, requiring the module second step defining the url third step defining the schema fourth step defining the model but we still have not connected the database after that we are connected to the database we are passing this db url which we have defined here to the to this mongoose.connect and if there is an error it will print out the error else case that means the database has been connected so the, uh, the connection to the database is our fifth step which we have done there here this is database connection and after connecting to the database what we are doing we are creating an object of this team model and in this uh, object we are passing a new value as name is required field so we are passing product development for example and we are passing uh, we are calling uh, teams.c so this is our sixth step in where we are uh, creating the model uh, and the instance of the model and passing the value into it and saving it and while saving it we have a callback function if there is an error we will print out the error as it uh, it means the data has been inserted into the collection automatically we have not declared any collection but the system knows that uh, there is a collection with the name of teams into the database now if we want to search and uh, find uh, anything we will work with the model not with the database directly so we have uh, functions like find as we have seen in case of mongodb client connector find one and find by id we have three functions in that case we have two functions in this uh, uh, in the case of mongodb client connector we have two function find and find one in the case of uh, mongoose we have three function find find one and find by id in the find fun, in the find part we can pass any value uh, regular this is the regular expression you can see see this is a case insensitive uh, development search and we are executing this uh, regular expression and when we execute this regular expression it will uh, either return us the error or turn us the values of from the uh, that store so alternatively we can use the team uh, we can use the find function with our model same book dot find we are passing mvc case instead uh, insensitive dot sort so we are start, uh, sorting on the field uh, field of created and then we can pass the limit and then we can execute the result and get the result back the find function can be cha chained chained into dot sort dot limit dot exit and etc so these are the chaining of these functions you can pass the id to get the result for example author dot find by id this method will uh, actually evaluate this id and uh, get the result from the database so alternatively you are calling the uh, your uh, model you are calling the model and this model is executing these queries into the database on your behalf uh, and uh, returning you the result once an object has been re returned, you can modify any of its properties to update it. So you can search by ID, you can search by any other field. Um, and to search and update, we have a function find one and update. It will find the one, one record and update it. And you can find uh, by ID and then update. So you have two options, one step option, and you can have two step option. In this case, we are doing what we are doing model find one and update we are searching this record if we find this record we will update the name with the this name and uh, if in a two uh, two step process what what we can do author dot find by id finding this id and th uh, we, then we will uh, write the value of this author update the value of this author and dot save this dot save will replace the uh, document which was stored before so alternatively you can do in one step this is one step this is in two step so it's up to you after the author is successfully retrieved the linkedin, uh, LinkedIn property is set and the save function is called mongoose is able to detect that the linkedin property was changed and it will send an update statement to the mongodb on only the properties that has been modified so Mongo, uh, in mongoose uh, when we call the save it will actually update these properties this is single step find by id and update 
you can use find one and update you can use find by ID, uh, find by id and update these are all uh, uh, two methods to find and update the uh, re record from the database to find an update you will provide the id and then the updated field you want to update that's all it will update the values into the database if you want to delete there is a function delete one you will provide the value it will search it on this value and will delete those document and if you want to delete many documents you can call delete many closing the connection is purely simple it is db.close it will close the connection to the object or database if you want to close with the object it you will call the object.close and if you want to close the db you can call db.close this was from mongoose mongoose has uh, for example you are connecting to your database you are uh, creating a, a schema then you are using that schema to create the model and you will use that model to insert information into the database so that is what we have learned from this uh, mongodb what are the alternatives of this mongodb in nosql formats you have redis1 you have coidb2 you have cassandra you can you can use the firebase all these are alternative nosql database uh, other than mongodb sql you can use the sql based language just like mysql oracle sql server postgresql and so on there are so many databases. but any of these is not a mean stack because in the mean stack we have m for the mongodb if we are we are using any other database then it will not be a mean stack so our focus will remain on the mean stack or and mon stack uh, but i will explain you connectivity for one of these databases for example if we want to connect with the mysql we are requiring a module mysql mysql is the module and you will install it npm install uh, mysql and you will require uh, and after requiring you will call the function mysql dot create connection and you will pass the connectivity string and uh, after passing the connectivity string you will um, basically connect to the database and if it is uh, not successful you will pass the error message if it is successful you will call your query just like insert queries insert into pedestrian and you will pass on the values and you will execute that query and that is all so you can use the relational dbs uh, easily with your uh, node.js and you can use um, uh, no sql databases just like mongodb uh, with ease with node.js same these queries can be executed connection.query mysql uh, select strike from pedestrian you are executing this query and getting the result if you get find the result you will display the result else there will be an error in the result that is all from uh, mongodb uh, mongoose module now we will come up with the the coding examples i will explain you a few coding examples uh, in next part uh, that will be our last part from the node.js thank you very much